What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, Anaheim Ducks dropping Game 7 at home for the fourth straight year and uh, what it means going forward for the Ducks as an organization. You know, definitely not a uh, desirable outcome. You know, obviously they had the, the slow start to the season, but, you know, once they, they got momentum and, and kept rolling, it looked like, wow, this team's going to be a contender. I did pick Nashville in seven games, no big deal, um, at, the, at the start of the series. But, you know, I think you look at... You know, this Ducks team, they have all the talent in the world. But I think they... And I, I wrote it up back in October, November. I'm not ever one to advocate firing the coach because I don't think this is Bruce Boudreaux's fault. But at the same time, I think they need... You know, need, need a change in that room. Need a new voice. And, uh, you know, I think that they'll be, you know, out there kicking the tires on a few guys. I think last year would have been the year to really go after a new coach. Um, with guys like Biles, I mean, even the possibility to bring back Mike Babcock, I'm not saying that was likely, but, you know, I think he would have sat down and listened to his former team, um, but, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, it's uh, definitely a tough day in Anaheim, you know, their off-season moves kind of backfired, you know, moving, trading for Carl Hagel, which I thought was a great move, didn't work, he ended up getting shipped to Pittsburgh, Perron ended up being a pretty good fit, actually, uh, but then you look at, you know, BX uh, had his moments. Trading away Palmieri was, in retrospect, really, really stupid. I mean, you know, you had him under contract for, for this year pretty cheap. Yeah, this summer would have been <clears throat> kind of dicey in terms of keeping him. But, you know, he went to Jersey and had, you know, a 30-goal season. I mean, I think part of that is a chicken or the egg. You know, is it because he was getting more of an opportunity in New Jersey or is it because his game had taken off a little bit more? You know, we'll never know for sure, but I mean, I think he would have had a decent offensive output this season and given the Ducks, you know, another weapon to uh, to have in their forward lines. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a lot of tough decisions to be made in the next, you know, three months, you know, regarding is Boudreaux going to be back? That decision should be made in the next week to ten days. Um, I think he will be fired. I think that's something that, you know, we can all kind of agree on, rightly or wrongly. You know, you lose four game sevens, four years at home. <clears throat> it needs a new voice. And the other thing was, I thought the Ducks looked flat to start last night. I thought they looked really, really good in the last ten minutes. They got a good flurry of shots. Once Castle cut that, cut the game to one, um, you know, they looked amazing. They looked like the Ducks that we had, that we thought we were going to see all year. And, you know, Pecorino and Nashville's defense were up to the challenge, you know, on every shot. So, you know, again, I think the uh, coaching staff will be changed up. Um, you know, we'll figure out what happens with the goaltending situation. You know, the Freddie Anderson, John Gibson subplot that's been going on for, you know, three years now. You know, is it time for a change? And is it time to move one of those guys? I think Anderson will likely be moved. I think Gibson's their guy, rightly or wrongly. Disagree with me all you want on that. But I think Gibson's going to be the guy they go with <coughs> going, you know, forward for the next, you know, however many years. And uh, Ryan Kessler's extension kicking in this year. Just Google that. It's not a pretty sight. So no disrespect to, to Ryan Kessler, but, you know, when you're already 31, almost 32 years old, and you have that kind of money for the amount of years coming up, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not exactly great to building a, you know, Stanley Cup contending team, but... You know, we'll see how the next few months uh, shake themselves up for the Ducks. But, again, they, you know, they're, they're still talent-wise one of the best teams in the Western Conference. They just have not been able to find a way to break through in Game 7s. Anyway, that's all I got. So to the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season, throughout the playoffs, and beyond. Later, you guys.